So a couple of years ago, we released the ArcGIS CLI, so you can quickly build your own web applications. The cool part is that it already comes pre-configured with Webpack, as well as our Webpack plugin, so you can do your own custom builds. When the CLI first came out, you got a pretty basic application. But today, you can do a few more things with it. You can uh, scaffold an app using React, or you can use Vue.js. This way, you get to decide what framework or UI tooling you want to use to build your apps. So what I did is I used the CLI to build a Vue.js application. I used our portal API to search for living Atlas items and then display them on the page here. Uh, what's really neat, though, is that I don't need to know the layer type for these items. I can just add it to the map, and we'll figure it out. I also added some basic smart mapping tooling over here. So once I select the layer, I can pick the field that I want to color the data by. So I'll go with the renter occupy units. And I can also apply an opacity here. I can go with the percentage of renters. And, uh, then what I can do here is I can go ahead and use our bookmark widget. I can add a home bookmark. And maybe I'll zoom into Southern California area here, and I can add a SoCal bookmark, which is really cool. Let me just double check, make sure those work as I expect. Awesome. Now, the number one feature we've had requested with the JavaScript API for the past few years is for you to be able to save your own web maps. And I'm excited to tell you that's something that you can do today. Now, once I've saved this web map, I can go and open it anywhere that web maps are used. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and uh, open it in the map viewer. And you'll see that when the map renders, it's going to look exactly as I authored it in my own application. I'll even have the bookmarks I defined inside my app. So what does something like that look like in your code? What you want to do is you want to call a function on the web map called update from, pass it the map view. We're going to pull in some view-related information, create a thumbnail for you. Then you call webmap.save or save as. It's going to save the web map along with any bookmarks you might have defined. So this is really exciting because now you can build your own simplified authoring applications to generate these web maps and share them anywhere across the platform. 